I first met Bill Parcells um, during the 1982 campaign. Bill came in uh, as our new defensive coordinator, and he had an immediate impact on, I think, all of us. And uh, we knew that it was a new sheriff in town almost immediately the day he arrived. Shut up! Time out! It was unorthodox, his methodology. It was very, very forceful. What the f are you doing staying 10 yards in the backfield? Get up on the line! But he did it with a sense of humanity. Hey, Phil, I'll run the game! I know. I'm standing goal line in, well, somebody give me something. Okay. I ain't hey, got time to make signal. the call. When Bill first came to us, he took a sabbatical almost immediately because he had some personal issues that he wanted to deal with. And I asked him, well, why would you want to come back to this madness of NFL coaching if indeed you had a secure position as an insurance salesman? He said, George, I sat in that office, I sat in that room day after day, and I came to one definitive conclusion. I am a football coach, period. And that's why I'm back here with the Giants. In 1986, just three seasons after being promoted to head coach, Parcells led the New York Giants to a 14-2 record and the franchise's first Super Bowl appearance. First and goal from the one-yard line. Power set. Joe Morris near side to the right. He's going in, standing up, and this one's history. Four years later in Tampa, for Super Bowl 25, Parcells produced another stroke of brilliance. Super Bowl 25, I think that, to be honest with you, I think Buffalo had the better team. But Bill Parcells had the uncanny ability to have these guys rise at the appropriate time. O.J. touchdown! O.J. Anderson was the MVP of that game. Most people had given up on O.J., but not Bill Parcells. Bill kept motivating O.J. to tell him, you know, you still got a little bit of tread on the tires. He was absolutely right. And uh, as a result of that, he also produced a second uh, Super Bowl victory. Snap, spot. In the air, it's got the distance, it is no good! And the Giants are going to win the Super Bowl. It's easy to assess Bill's, uh, his qualities, his attributes, because first of all, you have to start with his, uh, his football IQ, which I think is, is unprecedented. The second thing, he is an absolute master at identifying talent. And not only the talent that's on the football field, but those that he depends on as his assistant coaches. And he was a master at motivating. Come on, Romo. You should have known pre-snap what to do there. Bill Parcells looked at every individual differently, and he was able to understand what was it that really uh, was able to push him over the top to get him to see more and deliver more of himself. Go double see me, man. Just don't hook it up. Don't it's you good. make your mind up with him. I'm, I'm trying not, to get the I first step. It's about competition here, son. You know what I'm saying? Bill was an in-your-face coach, and he was a perfectionist, which. You know, it's, it drives you crazy because if Bill sees something that he doesn't like, I mean, he's going to stop. He's going to make you perform it over and over again until you get it right. You're going to be tired of me. Oh, you're going to be tired of me. Come game day, uh, he expects that same sort of execution out on the football field. That execution was the hallmark of a Bill Parcells team as he remains the only head coach in NFL history to take four different teams to the playoffs. When you look at the swath of, uh, of success that Bill has had over so many franchises, you can only come to one conclusion that the man is a definitive winner, whether it's in New York, whether it's in Dallas, whether it's in New England. It didn't matter where Bill went. He's made teams relevant, and uh, he's done it unapologetically, and he's done it, uh, I think, very effectively. That's the way to go, fellas. boy. there you go. I think that the true uh, memories of Bill Parcells is his results. Him being hoisted upon the shoulders of those guys who respected and admired him, him being underdogged in, in so many ways and, and emerging victoriously. I think he should be remembered as the winner that he is. I am honored to present my coach, Bill Parcells, for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Presenting Bill Parcells for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, George Martin. I want to thank George for his kind words, and I want to mention why I picked him to present me. In the 83, 4, 5 seasons, in my formative years as a head coach, 
George was a co-captain along with the great Harry Carson. He was also my player representative. And in those days, the rules and regulations in the league weren't the same, and we had to figure a lot of things out on our own. And George had to kind of please three masters, the organization, the coaching staff, and his own teammates. He was unwavering in his support to all three factions. And quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, without that support, I don't think I'd be here tonight. He was, he was a great, great help to me. And I'm honored to have him present me. I want to thank the committee.